to DEF CON 3, I'm KT McFarland. Tensions are on the rise along the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea. South Korea is warning the United States that North Korea is likely to launch, quote, provocations, quote, if Seoul does not meet a Saturday deadline to cease propaganda broadcasts. This is leading us to concerns that Kim Jong-un may be starting, trying to restart the Korean War. Here with reaction is Dr. Bruce Bennett with the Rand Corporation and Bruce Klinger from the Heritage Foundation. Um, let me turn to you first, Mr. Klinger. Uh, do you think Kim Jong-un is trying to start, restart the Korean War? No, I don't. But, but there are a number of elements uh, that are in place right now which are a cause for concern, a uh, danger of escalation. We have uh, not only this, this threat, this declaration of a quasi-state of war, we've had increased North Korean military training right along the DMZ, and of course we had the exchange of gunfire yesterday, with artillery fire, and that's coming amidst tensions from an earlier incident where North Korean infiltrators uh, came into South Korea, planted a mine which maimed two South Korean soldiers, and South Korea has vowed to respond sternly. So there's the danger of escalation, mm -hmm. perhaps even stumbling across a red line. So, uh, Dr. Bennett, the United States is on, our forces there are on alert, the North Korean forces are on alert, the South Korean forces are on alert. What is the possibility that, um, that we do stumble into some kind of conflict? Well, the danger, as Bruce said uh, now, is uh, that the North will try something even more escalatory. They've tried two rounds of escalations, a landmine and then the artillery fire. They seem to be trying to deflect attention away from uh, the South Korean President Park's visit to Beijing in early September because Kim Jong-un isn't going, which is a real anomaly uh, for a major event in China. Uh, but also trying to prepare for a nuclear test in October. And they seem to be wanting to ratchet up the situation to justify to the Chinese that they actually have to carry off a nuclear test. Um, and that could get dangerous if they do ratchet things up. But, um, Mr. Klinger, is this really just the North Koreans say, hey, pay attention to me, you haven't paid attention to us in a long time, you're worried about China, you're worried about the Middle East, what about us? Uh, th there's a lot of that involved in North Korea. Uh, they habitually make threats, but the thing is, you know, when people say they never carry out their threats, well, that's true until they do. In uh, 2010, there were two attacks on South Korea, killing 50 South Korean uh, sailors, Marines, and citizens. So we can't dismiss this out of hand. Not only do we have this uh, more tense tactical level situation along the DMZ, uh, but it's occurring amidst a very large annual U.S.-South Korean military exercise, which North Korea habitually will say is a prelude to invasion, it's a declaration of war, uh, and would justify any kind of North Korean military attack on the South. We should always be concerned about what happens in Korea because Korea, the Korean Peninsula, is where the United States um, joins with Japan, uh, China, and Russia. So, this is where the, the, the major military powers in the world um, you know, face off each other. So, if anything happens in Korea, uh, it can explode and consume the world. So, that's why we should be concerned in general. Uh, in the the particular circumstances of today, I think we can take it all with a certain grain of salt. There's uh, a lot of gesturing, um, and I think uh, nothing very much will, will, will happen. Um, so we're going to get um, a lot of, lot of talk, we're going to get a few uh, artillery rounds perhaps, but um, it's unlikely but uh, possible, unlikely that uh, things will go further than that. Obviously, both countries need to uh, to show restraint, but it's not really both countries. Uh, it is, um, you know, time to to bring things to a head. Now, President Park Geun Hye uh, only last week said that uh, they should prepare for what she called reunification, which is sort of code for a war with the North. So, um, you know, there's lots of things happening in the background. Um, but whether the background will come to the foreground, of course, we, we don't know. We very much hope not, because it would be catastrophic. United.